Uh, no one's hotter in baseball right now than Colton Cowser. Let's just be completely honest. Not just for the Baltimore Orioles in all of Major League Baseball. And Colton Cowser had to wait for his moments starting off this season. But no one is swinging the bat better than him. And it's a big reason why the Orioles got the insurance run later. It's a big reason why they got the, the sweep up in Boston with his great play all the way around. Let's talk a little bit about what makes him so special so far and why this is something that I don't think is a fluke. I'm not going to expect him to hit – you know, 450-something, however he's going to do, but I expect a fantastic year for Colton Kowser moving forward. So why don't we move forward with it as well? I forgot how long I made that. There we go. Here's his first here, – here's like the first moment of the season actually where I was like, you know what, things might go right for him. Yes, he got in bad against the Angels and all that, but this specific uh, situation here, Colton Kowser is going to get a pitch, and sometimes you just need things to go your way to kind of build that confidence up, right? So he had a double against the Angels where it was a blowout game. This situation here, he's going to cue ball it right down the third baseline. And you're thinking, well, there it is. There's the moment. Yeah, the ball was hit like 50 miles an hour or something like that. But who cares? It's a double. You start to build confidence. But you know what I loved about that swing, guys, is the fact that he stayed the other way. And actually, where Colton Kowser got super hot, was his ability to use the opposite field. And you guys might think that's crazy, but if you can use the opposite field, you know a guy's locked in. Because if he can drive a ball the other way, that means it's so hard to beat him. And guess what? It's been extremely hard to beat Colton Kowser over the last four or five games. So Kowser here, you're going to see 3-2 count here. He's not going to try to do too much. Stays on the baseball and plays wall ball. Over. There it is. Over with the green monster. Okay. So, again, inside pitch a little bit, but he's thinking big part of the field. So, just so people can understand that again, when you're trying to feel good, you want to try to stay on the baseball as long as you can. Because if you start leaking off the baseball, sometimes when you can get too pull heavy, and then sometimes you have to be so perfect with your timing that you're really kind of shortchanging yourself to what you are capable of doing. Kowser's got the ability to drive it the other way, so why not drive it the other way, especially when you're facing talented pitchers? Later in the game, Brian Bayo actually pitched really, really well for the Boston Red Sox, but their defense kind of let him down in those moments. He's going to get a pitch away, Kowser, and Kowser's going to drive it right to left center, short swing, compact, whammy. There it is. And then he's going to swim move it over there to go in for a double. But again, using the big part of the field, using the opposite field, leads to success. Here's the other example here when they're playing Milwaukee, 0-2 count. And you understand Peralta was shoving that night. He really was. But that guy that he couldn't stop was Colton Kowser. And this is such a simple swing. It's probably one of my favorite at-bats of his so far. Pitch away right on the outside corner. And we've seen the umpires be a little bit ah, generous on the outside corner in that series against Milwaukee. He's not taking a chance, but he's not trying to do too much. And he just slaps it the other way. And guess what? 96 in the black. Who gives a crap? Because now... That ball is down the line. He's got a double. He's feeling good. So now once you build up that confidence of staying on the ball more and more, this is where you have moments where you see things come, things come together. There's another example, left field, homer. And again, a lot's the opposite field. That's been kind of the emphasis of this conversation so far, right? But how about this? Now when you've established that you feel good and you can stay on every ball, then now when you're feeling froggy, and it's a 3-0 count. We all remember this moment here about, a, I guess it was the finale in Boston. 3-0 count. First off, it's 3-0 count to get the green light. Team's confident in you. And secondly, to swing at a 3-0 pitch, that means you are really confident in your specific swing. And Cows are now expecting a fastball. He's going to sell out. And because he feels that he has his timing and his mechanics all down, well, guess what? He's going to hit this ball a mile and he knew it. Everyone knew it. And everyone in Boston wanted to get to him the hell out of Boston because of what he was doing. And now seeing the, the recent home runs for him, now that he's feeling good, he's letting himself become that complete player that you have seen or what you have heard of down in the minor leagues. Slider here by Peralta. Kowser doesn't try to do too much. Stays on the baseball. And we're going to see another home run to right. Again, simple. And this is a night, again, where Peralta was dominating. He really was. He was dominant, but Kowser was feeling good. And this one, actually, is probably the most impressive to me now. 
So he's going to get a pitch way inside. Lefty, tough matchup. I thought Kowser has trouble against lefties, right, Zach? Is that true? That's what I've heard. Okay. So right here, uh, Milner's been a very, very tough opponent for left-handed hitters. That's his MO. Funky delivery, funky slot. And, and despite it only being you know 88 you're going to see right inside, it's so hard to pick up because imagine this. When the guy's throwing here, can you still see it? Yeah, we're good. The guy's throwing here. It's almost like his shoulder hides, and then his arm whips out at the end. So it's really hard to pick up until the last second. So imagine a ball's running in right on your hands, but Kowser, because he is so locked in and comfortable, trusts his hands, and I, I still don't know how the hell he hit this and hit it so well, but you're going to see him get his hands into it. That's a really good pitch by Milner. I mean, a really good pitch, but when you're that scorching hot, Kowser can hit anything. And this is a big moment that ends up being the, the final insurance run for the Baltimore Orioles on Sunday to get that win, to get back on track. And a big reason is because of what Colton Kowser is doing. And guess what? You're going to see, Zach, you should have done this earlier. You should have had the cow costume. I know. Where is he? There he is. <laughs> There's there, there, Whoever that is, shout out to you. I want to shake his hand. You I'm really do want to shake his hand. his hand. The moves are loud in Baltimore, and rightfully so. Colton Kowser is a guy that when you look at him, he's one of those players that you want to root for. He's a likable guy. He's a goofy guy. But above all that, he is one hell of a player, a guy that can do so many things. And there's a reason why the Orioles never wanted to trade this guy. And we broke him down earlier before the season started in spring training and said why we thought he could be an emerging star. Well, now you're seeing the moments at what's happening in Baltimore on the road Colton Kowser, I'm not expecting him, like I said earlier, to be the guy that's going to be the next great coming of the, the, the Hall of Fame baseball player. Who knows how good Colton Kowser can be? But the Colton Kowser that I'm seeing right now is a guy that can be an all-star, that can obviously win the rookie of the year, and can be a foundational piece that you should consider for the Baltimore Orioles for a long time. And the best part of this is he finally has that confidence that he knows he is big league ready and he is a big part of of this Baltimore Orioles team in 2024.